We are here at Clark's first annual Green Run, started by our own Clark students. The Green Run won the Eureka contest this year, and hopefully they will be able to do this so many more times, because this is a really, really, really cool thing. They're going to be running around campus, and we're going to try to follow them all around, so we want you to join us. Hi, I'm here today with Professor George Gendron, and um, I was just wondering, what are your thoughts on this year's Green Run, this year's uh, Eureka finalist? Uh, they did a they did a fantastic job. You know, you have to keep in mind that the team, the three of them, uh, came up with the idea about a year and a half ago, right. and um, they weren't able to get it launched last spring, and they, they knew exactly when they wanted it in terms mm -hmm. of the calendar, so they had to wait an entire year. So they've really worked for a, a, a long time um, on the idea, refining the idea. There were two or three times when uh, it really looked like it wasn't going to happen, right. uh, particularly with regard to the financing. Financial? Okay. Yeah, the financing was, uh, even even just the, what I would call the seed financing was right. in jeopardy, right. and then they persevered and got that, and then they won what we call the Eureka Contest. Yeah here on campus and uh, got another awesome. $5,000. Yeah, and then and this became you know, possible. Yeah, so they've done a, I mean, they've just shown a kind of remarkable persistence, perseverance, sticking with it. Um, one of the most organized teams I've ever worked with. And I know that sounds boring, but man, that makes all the it's difference essential. in the world. They were like pros, it was like dealing with seasoned entrepreneurs and stuff. So it's one of those, this is an event where I, I have the feeling five years from now we'll come back and this will be a big deal. Bigger. A really big deal. That's yeah, good. So I'm really proud of it. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, you bet. You know, I'd like to run the race today, but I think I'll leave it to the athletes. You know you can walk, Shauna. Really? Cool. I'll do that. Oh, yeah? Oh yeah, not till at least the end of the, end of the start. Zoom out a little bit more so that when they walk by, we get like as many as we can. Yeah. It's gonna get really close fast. I got some nice close up shots also. Alright, let's start it.
Do you want to do a quick little interview thing? Like a little quick, like, you know, this is the beginning of this, this yeah. start? Yeah. Right. Oh, wait. Oh, too late. Yeah. In the background also. Do, you guys, do you guys know what the times are right now? Uh, no clue. Uh, I'm not really sure to be honest. Wait, what? Good job. Alright, well, we're at the finish line right in front of the library. Yeah. Alright, cool. Bye. Is that out? Okay, dude. Oh, cool. Tracks in. Let's go to Tracks in. Alright, I'd say after this, you just stop. Yeah. No, yeah. So I'm here with the founders of the Green Run. What made you guys start up this run in the first place? Um, well, I've always been an avid runner, and um, we just wanted to get more students involved in running that might be intimidated by running or not like to run. So we thought we'd have a road race. And um, I've always been really interested in um, environmental awareness, and I think that um, Clark University has the unique ability to become um, a front runner in environmental awareness. Um, so we really just wanted to get the Clark community involved in um, being environmental stewards and getting people in the Worcester community to, um, you know, partake in more sustainable behavior. So we thought that a fundraiser would be a great way to do that. Very cool. So um, this was your first race. What would you like to change for next year? Um, couple things. I think that having three people work on it um, wasn't the greatest. We probably should have had more people. Maybe been able to divide um, the tasks more evenly. And yeah. Distribute the tasks and onto more people. Yeah. And maybe next year to have a separate walk, maybe a shorter distance, because it was kind of tough to have people walk the three miles. Yeah. And more runners and walkers. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. But we think that we'll be able to 
you know, even triple the amount of people um, for next year. So. How many runners were there today? 117 runners. That's pretty good for a first time. Yeah. So where are the proceeds going to? Um, the proceeds are going to the Regional Environmental Council, All right, cool. which is um, a local nonprofit organization for environmental awareness. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. Yeah. And it was a very smooth run, so <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.